Hi everyone, I am Shahan Laik. Welcome back to my channel, Dr. Shahan's class. And here in this video, I will discuss about a disease known as Leontiasis Osea. Basically, this channel, Dr. Shahan's class, is dedicated for different diseases. We discuss different diseases which are asked in different medical examination like NEAT PG, FMG examination and also the next examination whichever may be asked in the next examination please subscribe this channel because this will help you to enrich you in knowledge so if you are preparing for neat pg or if you are preparing for next examination or fmg examination or any kind of medical examination please subscribe this channel it will help you to learn a lot from this channel I can guarantee you because there are so many diseases in this channel which I have discussed which you may not find in any other YouTube channel. So subscribe it. So what is this Leontiasis Osea? Leontiasis Osea is also known as Lion Face Syndrome. You can see the picture. The patient is having a face just like a lion. And that is why it is known as lion face syndrome. And that is why the term leontiasis. Leontiasis means lion-like. Leontiasis means lion-like face or lion-like. Osea. What is the meaning of osea? The bones which is lion-like. The face. So lion face syndrome. Lion-like bones. Lion-like face syndrome. So why this is happening? This is happening because of overgrowth of certain kind of bones like our facial bones, cranial bones, all these bones which are there, these actually overgrow. And this is not because of a particular disease. It is occurring because of a symptom of other disease like Pigott's disease fibrous dysplasia, hyperparathyroidism, renal osteodystrophy, all these are different diseases. But this disease has a common features that is lion face syndrome. You can see the picture. This is the picture of a patient who is having the disease leontiasis and you can see how his face has turned into a lion face. Look at the radiology, how his face has turned into a lion face. Why? Because of different diseases like Pigott's disease, fibrous dysplasia and other disease like hyperparathyroidism. All these affect and create some distortion, create some over exacerbation increase in bone length increase in bone shape size everything and it distort the bone of the face that is the facial bone and the cranial bones and it turned into a lion face you can see the picture now basically lion face syndrome or leontiasis osea is a rare condition it cannot be found every place so it is a very rare disease and also it is a complication of severe hyperparathyroidism. So generally the hyperparathyroid patients who have severe hyperparathyroidism in the end stage renal disease basically you can find this kind of changes in the face. So his face or her face turns into lion lion face very very important that is lion theosis osea leon theosis osea basically so from this name itself you can understand and what happens basically these patients who are having the end stage renal disease they are reported to do the dialysis medical treatment and 
uh, in the last decade all this advancement in the dialysis procedure all this advancement in the medical treatment procedure for the end stage renal disease has been there and that is why this complication is rarely seen it is not so much seen but if the patient uh, remains in severe hyperparathyroidism in the end stage renal disease patient you can find this uh, lion face syndrome but nowadays it is not found because there had been medical advancement in the dialysis and other medical treatment advances in the recent decade now let us learn about the uh, history of this disease basically the medical term leontiasis osea was first used by a greek physician and his name was rufus of Ephesus okay Rufus he was Rufus and he was of Ephesus he actually was a Greek physician and he first coined the term or he first gave the term Leontiasis Oshia that actually described the bony changes and lion like facial change you can see the left side picture it is the lion like face of the patient and basically we have treatment options nowadays like surgery you can see after surgery the right side picture you can see how the face has been normalized and you can see how the lion like face has turned into normal human face that is on the right side picture so this is a transformation picture how the lion face has been turned into human face Look at the cheeks, the bony prominences which is there in the cheekbone that is the zygomatic bone you can see in the face that is so much prominent here it has been changed into normal by surgery. So this is the end of this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and please subscribe.